Hey everyone, Miranda here, and today I am bringing to you another cook with me. Now you guys love them. So today we are making a tuna cake. Now it's like a really easy recipe, and the way that you can get creative with it is with the veggies. So let me go ahead and show you guys what all you are going to need. So obviously tuna cake, you need two to three cans of tuna here, you guys. I'm going to be using three. You will need five pieces of bread. Um, this is a perfect way to use like the ends of the bread since we know lots of people don't really like them. Let's be real. Um, so I do have just five pieces of bread here. You are going to need a little bit of milk as well as a little bit of butter that we're going to melt. You will need some cheese. I have some Colby Jack here. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Um, there's not really you know, any right or wrong cheese that you could use. Um, but Colby Jack is what I am using. Mommy, tell me. <laughs> Make it. Yeah, we're making dinner, mama. Tuna. Um, and then normally what I like to do is I will put corn in mine. Since this is the one vegetable I know my entire family will eat. Um, so I'm going to be using a can of corn. All right, so I'm also going to be adding in an onion. I'm going to add in some shredded carrots here. As well as, I thought I would go ahead and toss in just a couple of these peppers. I'm not even going to say the name because, like, nobody can pronounce it. <laughs> um, but I was going to go ahead, chop up a couple of these, put them in there, hopefully to give it, like, a nice little extra flavor. Um, and then, uh, again, another way to get creative is with the spices, you guys. Um, no right or wrong spices, just whatever you feel like adding that you think is going to help it, you know, taste better, you know, taste really amazing. So I am just going to be adding some salt, some pepper, um, going to add some garlic powder. And then of course I've been using this on everything. I am going to add some of this, this I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't usually see this seasoning, so, um, but anywho, yeah, so that's what you're going to need. If I decide to add more spices, I will show you guys if I do end up doing that. And you're also going to need four eggs, you guys, four. All right, um, I'm going to preheat your oven to 375, and what I did to the pan, you guys, is I just sprayed it with some cooking spray and added about a tablespoon of flour to that so my baking tray is ready to go so let's go ahead and get into this you guys i'm going to use this bowl so you can kind of show you guys um what you need to do but obviously first off we're going to go ahead open the cans of tuna and we are going to drain them all right you guys so first up in our bowl we are going to take our bread we're just gonna tear it into like smaller pieces. And it doesn't matter what kind of bread you use, you guys, just any good old bread. And then to this, we are going to add the eggs. All right, so now that the eggs are in here, if you guys can see that, the eggs are in there. Little by little, we're going to add the milk. And this is the part that gets a little messy because what you're going to do, so there's no exact measurement for the milk, you guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to use your hand to mix it all together, mash it up. So I should probably add a little bit more in there right now. Okay, because we just want this, like the bread, to get all moist and just kind of smushed before we add in all the other ingredients, you guys. Obviously, you don't want it to be like super, like, like looking like goop. <laughs> um, but you you know you want it so that it's you know fairly like not super mushy but still kind of firm but just try and get as much as you can 
like all the big chunks of the bread, mash them up really well. All right, so I don't need any more milk right now. Um, looks fine. I may have done a little too much milk, but that's okay. Um, if you end up adding a lot of milk, you guys, just add more bread to it so that it's not, you know, super mushy or anything like that. But once we add everything else, like the tuna, the cheese, it's all just going to kind of come together when cooking. Um, but just make sure the bread, you want to get all the super big chunks out. So, I know it looks kind of gross, you guys, but that's what you want. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to start off with the tuna, you guys. I'm going to add in the tuna. So I did drain these already. And I mean, depending how much you like tuna, you could add more. I normally just do the three cans. Um, you could add more if you wanted to. So we have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables ready. I'm gonna chop up my onion and I'm gonna clean and drain my corn. All right, you guys, so I have my onion chopped up. I chopped up about three of those peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and add them into here. You guys, like I said, this is just a way for you guys to get creative. There's no right or wrong way to make this. Um, just add whatever vegetables you want, you guys. The ideas are endless. You want to shred up some zucchini and put it in. You want to, you know, chop up some celery and put it in. That's all up to you. Have my corn here. Add in some shredded carrots. I'm going to go ahead and add in my spices now. Lots of garlic powder because I love garlic, you guys. Got salt here. Want to add some bell pepper or something? Like do different colored bell peppers to make it all pretty. That's totally fine, you guys. Get creative. And then I'm going to add some of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so addicted to this stuff, you guys. Like, you have no idea. If you find this, you better get it. Because it's amazing. Alright, and then I do have about like a tablespoon of butter here, and all I did was pop it in the microwave for like 20 seconds to kind of melt, soften it up. So we're going to add that in there as well. I'm going to give this a good mix before we add in the cheese. Where that my cake? It's a tuna cake, mama. It's not like a cake cake. <laughs> Just kind of get everything all nice and incorporated before adding the cheese. All right, so cheese again. This is gonna be to your liking. If you're a cheese lover like myself, add in as much cheese as you want. But I have roughly, I think I shredded about a half a block of cheese. So about like, you know, one of like the smaller bags of cheese. Like an eight ounce bag, I think. So roughly like eight ounces. 
don't know if I should add all of it or this is going to be enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up some more. The cheese all mixed in. It smells really good. All right, I think that should be fine. Maybe what um like if you want with the cheese. Um, so this is gonna go into the oven for one hour, and um, maybe when there's like ten minutes left or so, you want to like sprinkle some cheese on top of it. That would be totally awesome. So let me get my dish. Again, I just sprayed it with some cooking spray and add about a tablespoon of flour in here. I'm just gonna spread this flour out a little bit. All right, and then what we're just gonna do is empty all of this into here. And I already spilled some. Now, it's back. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of spread this out evenly in the dish. Stuff is amazing, you guys. Like, who knew making like a tuna dish like this is so easy? Like, if you're sick of you know tuna pastas, this is a great you know like alternative idea and you don't have to cover this or anything alrighty okay. make sure it's all nice and evenly spread it out not to leave any section, you know, with more than the other. All right. And this is what it looks like, you guys, in the pan. Like I said, into the oven for one hour at 375. And I will see you guys then. All right, you guys, so it's been in there for 50 minutes, and I just kind of want to show you guys what this looks like right now. Um, you can kind of see the edges are starting to brown. So, you know, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just add the remaining cheese that I have on top and then put it back in the oven, let the cheese melt, um, and then you just want to make sure you check it, like, with a knife, make sure none of the, like... You know, nothing's coming up on your knife. Make sure it's nice and clean. Um, if you do get, you know, food on the knife when you bring it out, you know, just leave it in there in an extra few minutes. Let everything fully cook. You want to make sure it's, like, all nice and firm. So, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So, like I said, just adding the rest of the cheese. I'm going to pop it back in there for the remaining 10 minutes, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right, you guys, there you have it. There's the cheese all nice and melted on top. Again, you guys, I hope you all really enjoyed this recipe. It is really super yummy, you guys. Get creative. Do your own thing. Have fun with it. Um, I'm going to pair this with just some like baked beans and a salad. Um, you could do whatever sides you want to do. I'm not good with coming up with sides, so I'm just going easy tonight. But that is the tuna cake, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up if you guys would like to see more of these cooking videos. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I'm going to kind of... Maybe take a piece out and just so I can show you guys. It's like super hot, so I don't know how this is going to work.
very well, but I will try. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like on the inside, I guess. Come on, baby. So there you have it, you guys. It's all nice and firm. So this is our dinner, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.